Have you ever pondered the paradox of wars fought in the name of peace? The irony of religious conflicts that claim countless lives all in the name of a higher power that preaches love and harmony? From the early days of human history, religion has been both a beacon of hope and a catalyst for conflict. Let's embark on a journey through time, tracing the bloody path of religious wars, from the early days of Christendom to our modern world. In the 4th century, Emperor Constantine declared Christianity as Rome's official religion, marking the beginning of a dark era of religious persecution. Jews and followers of traditional Egyptian polytheism faced the wrath of a newfound Christian dominance. This period also saw the institutionalization of violent anti-Semitism, a trait that would tragically define European Christianity for centuries to come, culminating in the horror of the Holocaust. Fast forward a few centuries to the Age of Exploration, when Christian armies wiped out two complete civilizations, the Aztecs and the Incas. Libraries and art objects were destroyed in an attempt to erase these cultures from history. Europe was then terrorized by the Inquisition, a period of intense religious persecution and censorship. The Enlightenment, a period often associated with intellectual progress, was ironically also marked by a hundred years of incessant warfare over doctrinal disagreements within Christianity. In our modern times, the strife continues. The three primary Abrahamist communities, Jews, Christians, and Muslims, seem locked in a deadly dance of conflict that threatens to engulf the entire planet in a nuclear holy war. And it's not just the Abrahamic religions. Buddhists and Hindus spent decades in bloody conflict in Sri Lanka. Muslims, when not embroiled in conflict with Christians and Jews, are often at odds with each other over doctrinal disputes. And let's not forget about the political ideologies born from religious principles. Communism, with its mantra, to each according to his need, from each according to his ability, is a reworking of a passage from the Book of Acts and could be viewed as an offshoot of Christianity. Religion has played a paradoxical role in human history. It has been a source of solace and hope, but also a cause of some of the most brutal conflicts. It has been a vehicle for expressing humanity's highest ideals, but also a tool for justifying its most horrific acts. In tracing this chronology of religious wars, we see a recurring pattern of intolerance, violence, and devastation. But we also see resilience and the human capacity to rebuild and seek understanding. So, where does this leave us? It's a sobering reminder that religion, like any other powerful force, can be used for both good and evil. It's a call to remember the lessons of history, to strive for tolerance, and to always choose peace over conflict. It's a plea for compassion towards those caught in the throes of religious conflict, and a hope that we, as children of the universe, may stumble less blindly in the dark.